hello everyone first of all i would like to give thanks to the pani organizing committee so myself uh, joydeep shah i am i am a research scholar in the uh, department of physics in the university so the title of my work is uh, global climate feedback studies of serious reflectance uh, specific humidity in relationship with like me so i want to start with the slide on my objective and motivation of my work so <clears throat> to investigate how lightning may be a useful parameter for studying climate feedback related to uh, upper troposphere water vapor which is uh, the specific humidity so here we uh, demonstrate okay, the relationship of the surface reflectance with the upper troposphere water vapor uh, specifically in two uh, pressure levels one in 125 millibar which is nearly stratosphere and another is in 300 millibar pressure level and uh, to investigate how cirrus clouds may affect the overall earth atmospheric radiative energy budget the variability of cloud microphysical properties so how the solar insul insulation you know may affect with the cirrus reflectance and how the lightning uh, may play a major role in the uh, in controlling the cirrus cloud uh, in the upper troposphere and uh, one of the objectives of the study is to investigate the occurrence of frequency of cirrus clouds in relationship with the lightning which i already told okay now the main motivation of this research work is uh, the cirrus clouds actually play a significant role in the radiation budget of the earth atmosphere system by their effects on transfer of radiant energy through atmosphere and the critical and they are critical to understand the feedback process that regulate the regulator modulate the climate response to force and uh, these are these are the objectives and motiv motivations of my work now uh, we have we have actually uh, uh, done a, a time series plot of the serious reflectance with the uh, lightning flash counts so the lightning flash count data that we have taken from the lightning imaging sensor please and uh, uh, these data actually uh, of plus minus 38 degrees latitude and uh, and uh, which the span of this data is 2002 2012 almost a decade decade and uh, we found that uh, there is a strong correlation between the serious reflectance and the lightning least flash counts so uh, the correlation coefficient is nearly 0.65 so here also there is a lag between the two parameters uh, that is the, the 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 lightning is lagging behind the serious reflectance here we have the four months sorry five months lag between these two parameters so there is a strong correlation between these two parameters so another plot that i want to show you is that uh, <coughs> the plot between the serious reflectance and atmospheric water vapor at 300 millimeter which is a specific humidity at 300 millimeter pressure level the specific humidity data we have taken from ECMWF here interim data which is, which is a reanalysis data and the serious reflectance data we have taken from modis data so here also we have we are, we are getting a correlation coefficient which is point almost 0 0.30 so there are some uh, annual uh, semi-annual variations are there and maybe we need to remove the annual uh, annual anomalies interannual anomalies maybe and then maybe we are we'll be getting good correlation coefficient when uh, this work is in a preliminary stage so we need to work more on it so there is also getting some correlation correlation between CS reflectance and the ECM WF upper to water vapor. So, uh, in, in discussion and and, and in, in the and the conclusion part, we have shown that uh, there is a there is a uh, 
there is a uh, trail of serous reflectance uh, you know, on density in the tropical belt, if you see. And uh, the variation of upper tropospheric water vapor can impact serous cloud formation in the upper troposphere. Now, the serous clouds are having considerable scientific interest because of their impact on the arch radiation by the climate. Of course, because in that basically the specific humidity or upper tropospheric water vapor has the abundance in the tropics, uh, almost uh, nearly plus minus 30 latitude mineral or plus minus 35 latitude mineral bed. Then also you, are, you will see the concentration of serous reflectors, serous clouds. So how it may impact? Also, the lightning is you know a, a parameter which is in abundance in the tropical region. So how the convection may affect the uh, upper crossing water vapor the lightning and also the serious reflectance. So, so we are uh, trying to investigate, and we are trying to uh, analyze the data on that, on this behalf. So in our analysis, we showed that uh, our best correlation occur when comparing lightning activity to the serious reflectance, which are getting 0.5 for 125 millibar pressure level. And uh, lightning activity is a serious reflectance of a correlation coefficient of 0.65 for the 300 millibar pressure level. Therefore, the increasing observations of the lightning from global ground networks, the geostationary satellites, we propose that lightning will be a useful parameter to monitor for studying the climate field related to whether upper tropospheric water vapor or the serious clouds. So, this is all about my presentation. And uh, the thing is that we need to work more on this on this topic, and we you know, uh, we hope that uh, uh, the, the, the total solar insulation, the, the Earth's radiation budget uh, uh, can be impact on, uh, is, is impacted by the uh, serous reflectance and, uh, and the serous reflectance, we can explain it with the lightning and apotrosal water vapor studies. So this is all about my presentation. Thank you.